think I was over in the parking lot and I saw the paper on the door. I was kind of wondering what was going on, but uh, didn't think they would have been closed. Thought they were doing pretty well. Business, every time I come in here, they're always packed. It's kind of surprising. So I had come in last week and given them the equipment to evaluate and to sell to them. And you know, I come in today to get the result and you know, they're filing for <laughs> bankruptcy. It's just sad to see it go. You know, it's, uh, it's obviously a, a long time DC institution and, and you hate to see that uh, go away. But at the same time, you know, life goes on and, and uh, you know, that's kind of the price of progress, I guess, in some cases. Well, the thing that I think is happening here is what has happened to things like Tower Records. And that is that uh, the internet has taken over. And you can go to Amazon.com. You can buy camera equipment and get repair services through, via the internet. It's not personal. Uh, when I went to buy my latest camera, I wanted to touch it. I wanted to see what features actually worked on it. I wanted to see what I could do with it. And uh, the pen people knew uh, ha how they worked, and they'd sit there with you for a long time. Thing that no matter how well they design web pages, you're not going to find that uh, online. I don't know, I'm sad because I feel like I've been, I lived here for two years and this is the only camera store I've ever really come to. I didn't really know of any others and I don't, I've, now that they're closing I don't know where I'm going to make prints or um, rent gear or anything. So, you know, I'd hate to see it disappear.